Good morning from Joshua Tree. Just want to let you know a couple interesting things, a couple fun facts, a couple tips. Like if you're sleeping in a vehicle, park in the shade if you're like me and you're kind of sun sensitive. Otherwise, I would have woken up like two hours ago when the sun rose, but was able to sleep in a little bit more than normal. Um, also, I want to show you guys the battery monitor situation. Um, looks like I used about 103 amps last night. I'm at 72%. So the reason I'm mentioning that, before I had this battery monitor, I was probably using way beyond 50% and actually hitting 50% way too much, which resulted in me ruining a $700 battery. So I just want you guys to know that. Uh, spend the 200 bucks, get the battery monitor. It'll be worth it in the long run. <laughs> Today's breakfast, you guessed it, lentils and peas. Well, Jake over here has blueberries and granola. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know, Jake's all high class. He's got his uh, organic uh, granola with blueberries and a banana here. Meanwhile, I'm using my secret aardvark sauce, which is my favorite hot sauce. There's a link in the description if you want to get it. It's by far the most amazing stuff I've ever had. Use my discount code. <laughs> yeah, it's also an affiliate code, so that would help me out. It'd probably make like 20 cents off you. <laughs> all right, we're all packed up, and we're uh, gonna go a little, you know, do a little exploring around the, uh, the park, check out some of the Joshua trees, and show Jake why this place is so amazing. Yeah, those rocks are awesome. <laughs> they sure are. I understand the Joshua trees now. Like, they look really cool. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take you to like Joshua tree like forest, basically. <laughs> show me the money. I'm getting 65 amps. Uh, now it's a little bit down, but that's a combination of, there we go, back up to 64. That's a combination of solar plus alternator charge. behind the scenes right now this is what we do when uh, we see something cool we basically like set up a shot get all excited take a gazillion photos and then you'll see like one good one on Instagram <laughs> something crazy just happened I'm not sure when it happened exactly but I lost my taillight uh, the plastic part so um, I'm not really sure when and where that could have happened but that's no bueno also, air conditioning update, it works. It just took a little while to uh, to get going. I got it on max AC, all the way cold, high. I don't know, it works, but then sometimes it doesn't. It is now shower time. We're outside uh, Joshua Tree. Uh, we were playing with my shower, but it's a little on the chilly side. Uh, still gotta install that new heater. So when you're in the town of Joshua Tree at the Joshua Tree entrance, there's a place over here, and it looks like some old building, but they got showers in here along with uh, toys, candy, souvenirs, gear, all that stuff. Coyote Corner is the spot that we were showering at. I'm not really a trinkets kind of guy, definitely not a souvenir kind of guy, but this place actually has really cool handmade stuff, uh, especially from like local artists. So this place, I would totally buy stuff from. So here's what you get for $4, only $4. That's probably the cheapest shower I've ever purchased and hopefully the last shower I ever purchased. There we go, there's the key, bathroom, toilet, shower, put tokens in here pretty easy to me, definitely worth four bucks so I can feel all nice and fresh and clean. It's like uh, today is souvenir day, not really sure 
What lucky person? This is uh, who's gonna get this stuff, but uh, I got it. Uh, also, we got what is it? One o'clock right now. We got to get him to the airport in Los Angeles, three or four hours away by eight. Cause this this potty is just gonna get from two to one. It sucks. <laughs> it does suck. Uh, but he's gonna come back hopefully for like a month or Very something. Next year. Yeah. Let's, yeah, the road trip continues. Let's do that. Um, and so we're going to go tr try and find this, like, skate bowl in the hills, super top secret kind of place. Look at my skin. I just had a shower. <laughs> I just saw myself. I was like, whoa. We both had showers. We're what? brand new. Brand spanking new. <laughs> Looks like we got to off-road Dan the Adventure Bus a little bit. We're going on a wild goose chase. Due to the fact that uh, I got to get this guy back to the airport uh, and also due to the fact that we got stuck in the sand the other day and uh, this is, it's not really a 4x4 road but I know that this thing is so heavy I think we're going to call it. So there is something up the hill called the Nude Bowl. It is uh, iconic to Southern California skateboarding. Um, it is, it has an incredible view once you're up there and uh, there's a lot of like skating areas and old abandoned pools uh, in the Salton Sea area and the desert and stuff like that. So um, because it is another mile up the road and it is a bit soft, we're gonna, we're gonna call it on this one. Um, I really don't wanna get stuck up there. All right, I've just taken over the vlog because we're going down this really rough terrain. Here it comes. Adventure bus is in full adventure mode. Look at that. <laughs> that terrain is shocking. <laughs> if you guys have driven out to Palm Springs, I guarantee you have seen these things right here, which we are about to go and check out, get a little closer view of. These are uh, wind turbines and uh, it's just like the, I don't know, quintessential view when you come over the hill into the desert and they're awesome. And they actually have a, a very specific kind of hum to them, which is pretty cool. understand is that you have all these turbines all in a row that one over there is like super fast this one is super slow and this one's like nearly stopped and so like why is there a difference of the speed of these things and why aren't they pointing them in a direction for maximum efficiency it, it kind of like doesn't really make sense to me because you'll drive by these things all day long somewhat like that one way down there if you guys can see that that one's going so fast and then like two or three next to it's completely stopped so is like is it broken does it need some grease in the bearings i don't know and also how does it work you're like way at the top like does someone get inside there and if so how do you go inside like the tunnel? Do you have to be like helicoptered up there? Like, I don't know. These are questions I don't know and I can't answer. But it sure would be fun to go up up inside one. That's for sure. Maybe a maybe a possible show idea right here. So now this is super weird. This one here to the right is going super fast. That one is now going super slow, and the one at the end, which I believe was going the fastest, is now off. What is going on here? Six sunset. So we got Mr. Jake Rich up on top yeah. of Dan the Adventure Bus, and we got we stopped by In and Out again. It's right over here by the airport. Is that the last burger you're gonna have, Rye? That's a last your, your your last supper. You know, when in Rome, do as the Romans. I'm totally going off my uh, diet, but uh, oh well, we'll get back on it after I uh, send this guy off here. But uh, we're just over here checking out this amazing, amazing. Uh, 
spot to catch the sunset and watch some of the planes uh, fly in and land and take off and stuff. Uh, we opted not to use the public grass because, well, we have our own. And uh, it's, a <laughs> it's a slightly better view up here. Let me see if I can make it in the, uh, the trash can from here. Oh, off the rim. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at LAX. We're at the international departure. It is time for Jake to hit the road, unfortunately. But before he does, I want to just say you should go check out his stuff. Uh, if you like it, always subscribe. He's got some amazing content. He's going to help me out with uh, a hopefully viral video. <laughs> well, we're going to like learn how to make one. And if it goes viral, we'd love you to like help it go viral. <laughs> but we're going to help hopefully teach you how to make it. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to be an experiment. It's and really good. I really hope, sincerely, you do come back on the bus like in a couple months when you're ready. Uh, just get a one-way flight. Just come hang out on Dan the Adventure Bus and share the adventures. I'm leaving you with those quick claws, all right? Oh, you're the man. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Dude, how is this for a parking spot? <laughs> it is so nice to be so close to the ocean in such a big city like Los Angeles. And I guarantee this is probably the closest you can get to the water without hassle. Uh, it's a park overnight. I uh, just want to say thank you again to Jake for uh, joining me for the past three days. It was uh, so much fun. And uh, like I mentioned before, it's a lot more fun traveling with, you know, more people, another person. Uh, so hopefully you can do that more. Who knows? Maybe I need to get a girlfriend, have her on, a, on the bus, take some trips together. I don't know. Maybe you need a dog. Well, I can't really talk to a dog like you can a person, but... Um, yeah, other creators, I don't know. Traveling chef, cook me food, healthy food, maybe a vegan chef. <laughs> so, uh, so I could not eat those double doubles, animal style, extra pickles, mustard instead of the spread. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is my movie premiere. Um, I'm in a movie. If you didn't see the video before when I said I was in a movie, but I am. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And. So yeah, tomorrow we're gonna tomorrow night we're gonna go there. I don't know. I'll see you guys tomorrow.